On to number 11. Article 11, to see if the town will vote to amend the vote taken on Article 4 of the annual town meeting held May 7, 2015 by inserting and authorizing the following revolving fund for the Park and Rec Commission under Mass General Law sec, uh, Chapter 44, Section 53E half. Uh, Park and Rec, this is their revolving fund. This is recommended by the select board five to zero and recommended by the finance committee four to zero. And Mr. Moring would like to speak to this. Oh, do I have a motion? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Good evening again. So when, every year we set aside a uh, revolving fund for park and rec, and we set a cap on that at $10,000. And park and rec has found the $10,000 and the fact that the end of our fiscal year ends when they're actually doing a lot of summer programming to be a bit difficult. So they asked to, for us to expand the cap to $20,000 so that they have a little more float and a little more ability to do their programming through the summer months and not be interrupted by town meeting and have to give a whole bunch of money back and get some. So that's all we're doing is adjusting the credit limit for this account. So we're raising it from 10,000 to 20,000. Uh, that's all we're doing. Any questions or concerns with Article 11? Hearing none, all in favor, please signify with your green card. All opposed? Article 11 passes unanimously. Article 12, to see if the town will vote to change the use of the property known as the Turka Park, more particularly described as Accessors Map 11A, Lots 1 and 2, from highway purposes and transfer the property to the Select Board for general municipal purposes and for the purpose of sale and to authorize the select board to enter an agreement and execute any and all instruments to officiate the foregoing acquisition and take any action thereto. Um, Capital Planning Committee recommends provide clear ownership if established. 3-0, select board is 5-0. Finance Committee has no recommendation on this article. The motion reads, move that the town sell the property known as the Turka Park and more particularly described as Assessor's Map 11A, Lots 1 and 2. Do I have a motion? Motion and a second. I believe the Park and Rec would like to speak to this. Good evening. Uh, I'm Andy Kupaki, one of the Park Commissioners, and uh, Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, take a uh, uh, there's actually a fairly lengthy backstory behind this, and I'm going to try to skip that for, uh, for purposes of brevity. Uh, but suffice it to say that the commission has spent a fair amount of time um, investigating ways to revitalize the park and, and maintain it. Um, and at the time, there has been no funding made available. So um, despite many hours of meetings uh, with boards and forums and trying to come up with creative ideas, the co commission had ultimately recommended to sell the park, take the funds, and use it to buy another parcel in town that could be uh, put more to use. Uh, the park, as you may know, is built on a former stump dump and um, has some issues with ground stability. And also, it's a rather narrow in, uh, lot, which limits its use for a variety of programs. But uh, recently, we uh, the commission had a forum in which was attended by a, um, a group of butters uh, that were invited and um, that became the formation of the Friends of Zaturka Park group which has uh, committed to the commission that they want to um, make an effort to preserve and revitalize the, and maintain the park going forward. So um, based on our discussions and an agreement with them, um, they have since provided um, substantial support for their effort and um, I think it was over 150 signatures anyway. And um, as a result, uh, we would like to keep up our end of the bargain and we were gonna table this article until February 
during the, the interim time, the, uh, this Friends of Zaturka Park is going to put together a plan um, for this revitalization and maintenance. So if folks are interested in joining the Friends of Zaturka Park, uh, Zaturka Park uh, we encourage you to do so. Uh, the Commission would like to see the park uh, be revitalized, but um, you know, you know, we're looking for creative ways to do this, and potentially this user group uh, might be able to accomplish that. Um, just to clarify, uh, to table a motion, we would have to take a vote, and it would be a two-thirds vote. You can, you can make a motion to so take no action on this article, and is Article 13 tied with this article? Would you be... Yeah, if you want to do them together and separately, but at this time I would motion to table Article 12 at this time. Article 13 goes along with Article 12, and um, but do you want to talk about that now, or? Well, I mean, uh, if we're if you're going to take an action, no action on 12, we might as well do 12 and 13 at the same time. Sure. Briefly, 12 was an uh, establishment of an account where right. the proceeds of the sale would go, so they wouldn't wind up in the general fund and disappear. They would be available for future pr purchase of a park parcel. Right. So at this time, Mr. Moderator, I would motion that Articles 12 and 13 be tabled. All right, actually, Andy, I'm sorry. Uh, town Council would like to, us to do it one at a time. So, um, like I said, if you, if, you make, if you make a motion to table it, we have to take a two-thirds vote. If you make a motion to take no action, it's a simple vote, correct? Simple majority, so. The effective difference between those is? None, the vote is the only difference. Okay, so I would uh, then recommend we take no action. Better. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion to take no action on Article 12? Hearing none, all, all that support that green card, opposed. That passes unanimously. Now Article 13, like Andy just said, is was to set up a revolving account for the potential sale that would have happened in Article 12. Um, trust fund, but yes. trust fund, yeah. and or stabilization fund, and you are going to make a motion to take no action on that article, also. Correct? Yes, it's tied to the sale, so we at this time we would motion to take no action in Article 13. And I have a second. So, is there any further discussion on that article? All in favor of taking no action, signify with your green card. Opposed. It passes unanimously. Thank you. Article 14, to see if the town will, to, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer from ca free cash, transfer from capital stabilization, or otherwise provide $1,800 to survey and appraise the property known as the Turk Park. Assessor's map 11A, lots one and two, or to take any action thereto. Capital Planning recommends this 3-0. Select Board recommends it 4-0. Finance Committee has no recommendation on this at this time. The motion would read, move that the town transfer from capital stabilization $1,800 to survey and appraise the property known as the Turk Park. Do I have a motion? Second. Discussion. Andy? Mr. Moderator, ladies and gentlemen, the intent of this article was to determine the, um, get, get an appraisal to establish the market value of the property. Um, if, if by chance we find that that property is worth very little, then there would be really no sense in proceeding with uh, attempting to sell it. Um, so we would, I think we think it would be useful information to have um, at this time, what the, uh, the value of the properties. And our two parcels in, involved. Thank you. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. Given that we just decided to wait on determining the fate of the park, maybe, and considering we've been rather spendthrifty tonight, maybe we can save $1,800 and not do this till we need to. Uh, again, if we come back with a low value, we may not even proceed again with Article 12 or 13. Uh, we, we want to establish what that potential would be um, for uh, future use. 
Sir? Bruce Rondo, uh, number three, Holly Road. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, being a stump dump as it is, the cost of removing all that material to actually sell the land for some sort of profit seems kind of null and void. Null and void. Well, whatever stumps are there, long gone by now. <laughs> Renee Fall, 57 Huntington Road. Um, I am one of the nearby people and I guess a friend of a new organization. Um, and so I really want to thank the Park and Rec Commission for being so responsive to the people who showed up at that meeting a week ago, two days ago, and to all the people who quickly got a lot of conversations happening in, with their neighbors and in the area to find out the value of that park, um, especially to the people who live close to it, but to other people in town who like some open space to whether they bring their dog or bring their kids to slide down the hill in the winter or just you know a place to walk or, or toss, toss the ball around. My question about this article is, um, it, could we have some clarification about what the survey would be? Is that directly connected to the appraisal or would there be more information about the property that would come through having this done? Because I think we do need a bit more information about what what the park is like and in order to think about what it could be in the future. Andy? Uh, the funding for this would be for a, a market appraisal for the two parcels that are involved. There's a two acre parcel and a four acre parcel. Yes. We've, we've done some low level testing on that property in the past, if my members. Yes, in, our, in 2012, there's actually this uh, article came before uh, the town meeting, um, and there were some questions about Chapter 21E and hazardous material. Um, uh, in 2013, uh, the town was able to get a grant to pay for a uh, Level 1 Chapter 21E uh, review of the properties of which it was declared, we had a professional firm come in and do that, in which it was, at that time it was uh, declared clear and no further phase two or phase three was required for chapter 21E. So to answer your question, this 1800 would be strictly to get a market value on those two lots for informational purposes. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor of article 14. Article 14 is a two thirds majority. Please raise your green card. All those opposed, please raise your green card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So that's 10, 11. 10, 11. Oh, I had them. Oh. Okay, so nine. What do we have? What are we up to right now? Uh, 121. 121, so it's 112 to one, nine opposed. It passes.